because he was distracted with clapping, Tony Hawk threw a skateboard at Molten Beast, disorienting him, knocking him out, and sending him far away. Tony Hawk then joined TSL and gave them all van shoes, giving them much more power. They continued on their journey, but 1% more through their journey, they got tired and decided to rest. They set a checkpoint where they were, and teleport back to the universe that they were using as a base. Before they could teleport, they heard a low growling. A hand that felt human but very strong hit all of their heads, as they heard the words I like your cut G behind them. When they turned around, they saw nothing so they started teleporting back to base. However, just before they teleport back Vsauce appeared and FNAF2 jump scared TSL. TSL finished teleporting to the base mid jump scare. After teleporting back, seeing their growth, A officially joined TSL. After a few days, TSL teleport back to their checkpoint and then MR Beast appeared, and without saying anything started aggressively licking TSL's ears. He was so aggressive, that he licked TSL all the way to 45% of their journey. TSL thanked him and recruited him into TSL, but MR Beast did not say anything nor change his behavior whatsoever. He just kept licking. Here, a man named Inez appeared and told them that he is excited about how many mountains there are in Finland and he am surprised that there are canyons there and also he is surprised about the lowlands there. Also there is a lot of people there for how tiny the country is. There is a Bruins player from Finland people. Inez then kicked the members of TSL in their right shins, making them disintegrate. Inez then took their ashes to his Hello Kitty themed dungeon. In this dungeon, Inez reformed TSL's ashes into one being, now merged together. This being still contained all of their souls and power. This being, Sir J plus 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 or Sir plus for short then was told via a speaker on the wall that this was an escape room. Sir plus tried to escape by blowing it up, but he had no magic in this room. He decided to go with the escape room, and found a key in a severed toe in the corner of the room. He took this key and unlocked a small compartment, containing a riddle. This riddle was answered with the word Luminaria. Once Sir Plus said this out loud, a door opened. This door went to a small, empty, room with cobblestone walls, a cobblestone ceiling, and a cobblestone floor. It seemed like there was nothing here to do, so Sir Plus was baffled. But then, Sir Plus had a very good idea. Sir Plus used F5. C, using F5 gave Sir Plus a whole new perspective and Sir Plus was able to see a chest they couldn't have seen before. Sir Plus opened this chest, and Gustav the crocodile popped out. Sir Plus disintegrated him, and found a key in what was left of his spleen. Sir Plus then put this key in a random hole in the wall making the dungeon explode. Sir Plus then decided to do a little dance, which was so awesome that Anna ceased to exist instantaneously. Sir Plus continued to go on the adventure, until they were halfway there. They set a checkpoint here, and went back to the base to have a party. However, when they returned the entire base was gone, and the entire earth was hellish. They found a but by now he was no more than a skeleton. They had no idea what happened, until they saw that the entire landscape, and everything on it except for Sir Plus, was being brought together into one being. Molten Beast Now that Molten Beast and Sir Plus were alone in a vast void, Molten Beast had explained that after Tony Hawk hit him with a skateboard, instead of running back to catch up with Sir Plus he had stayed behind and absorbed universes, Ending with this one, where he waited until Sir Plus arrived back. Molten Beast was billions of light years tall, so Sir Plus tried to teleport away. However, 
Molten Beast had grown powerful enough to simply teleport Sir Plus back. Once he did this, he and Sir Plus began to fight, and Molten Beast created a landscape to battle on. In the fiery depths of the volcanic wastes, where molten rivers flowed like rivers of liquid fire, Molten Beast, a colossal creature made of living magma and obsidian, emerged from the heart of the volcano. Its roars echoed through the desolate landscape, shaking the very foundations of the earth. On the opposite side, Sir Plus, a knight of extraordinary power that summoned and was wielding a blade forged from the essence of stars, descended from the celestial realms. Sir Plus's armor gleamed with cosmic energy, and the stars that adorned the knight's shield sparkled with an otherworldly glow. The battlefield trembled as the two entities locked eyes, the air crackling with the anticipation of an epic clash. Molten Beast, with its molten fists raised, and Sir Plus, gripping the celestial sword with unwavering determination, prepared for the battle of the ages. Molten Beast struck first, unleashing waves of searing heat and molten projectiles. Sir Plus deftly dodged and parried, the celestial armor shimmering with protective energy. The knight retaliated with swift and precise strikes, each swing leaving trails of stardust in the air. The battle waged on, the very earth beneath them trembling with the magnitude of their clashes. Molten Beast summoned fiery minions from the depths of the volcano, while Sir Plus called upon celestial allies shining beings of pure energy. As the battle reached its zenith, Molten Beast erupted in a burst of searing flame, creating a blinding wall of fire. Through the flames, Sir Plus emerged, surrounded by an ethereal aura. The celestial sword descended in a brilliant arc, clashing with Molten Beast's obsidian claws. In a final, cataclysmic explosion, the battlefield was engulfed in a mix of celestial light and molten fury. When the smoke cleared, Molten Beast was obliterated, and Sir Plus caught a fleeting glimpse of Vsauce in the corner of their eye. Sir Plus absorbed what was left of the universe, including Molten Beast remains, and went back to their previous checkpoint. Here, Sir Plus's newfound power from absorbing all of the universe allowed him to travel to 65%, or two-thirds of the journey with very little interruption. Sir Plus then unfortunately found a dancing toe that was constantly screaming in lowercase. Sir Plus tried to go around it, but the toe kicked them backwards. They began to fight, and the toe was far more powerful than Sir Plus. Seeing this, Sir Plus started to scream in lowercase as well. The toe was appeased by this, so it shook toes with Sir Plus and merged with him. Suddenly, this merging caused a strange figure to appear from the shadows, and it said Uno, Dos, Trace. Rojo, Verde, Amarillo, Blanco, Negro, Anaranjadu, Gris, Café, Azul, Morado Diaz Colores Sun Rojo, Verde, Amarillo, Blanco, Negro, Anaranjadu, Gris, Café, Azul. Morado Diaz Colores Sun Roja, La Manzana Verde, Una Rana Amarilla, La Banana Trace Colores Sun Blanca Es La Luna Negra, La Aceituna Anaranjada Es La Cuna Cis Colores Sun Gris Y Café El Elefante Toma T E Azul Y Morado Ya Estoy Cansado O, Ya Estoy Cansado, Pero Quiero Canta Mas Vamos a Seguir Ya Listos Uno, Dos, Uno, Dos, Trace Rojo. Verde, Amarillo Rojo, Verde, Amarillo Blanco, Negro, Anaranja de Blanco, Negro, Anaranja de Gris, Café, Azul, Morado Gris, Café, Azul, Morado Diaz Colores Sun Sun Diaz Colores Roja, La Manzana Verde, Una Rana Amarilla, La Banana Trace Colores Sun Blanca Es La Luna Negra. La Aceituna Anaranjada Es La Cuna Cis Colores Sun Gris Y Café El Elefante Toma T E Azul Y Morado Ya Estoy Cansado Rojo, Verde, Amarillo, Blanco, Negro, Anaranjado, Gris, 
Café, Azul, Morado Diaz Colores Sun. This being introduced itself as Basho, but he seemed suspicious. He had seams on his body, and parts of him were falling apart. Not trusting him, Sir Plus fired a plasma beam at him. This triggered a fight, and they began to battle. Basho should have just been a normal human, but he was nearly as powerful as Sir Plus, confusing him. Their battle raged on until someone crawled onto the screen. Basho This Basho appeared to be the real one, and said that the other one was another teacher of Spanish pretending to be him. The fake Basho, Fasho then laughed and unzipped himself, revealing that he was actually the Duolingo bird, Duo. Basho's friends also showed up. Sir Plus, Basho, and friends, then attacked Duo, who seemed even more powerful than before after escaping the confines of Fasho. Because of this, after a very difficult fight, Duo hit all of his opponents five times, so they ran out of hearts and had to wait for their lives to regenerate. However, Basho stole Duo's wallet and bought a family plan for Super Duolingo, letting them all have infinite lives. AI generated lessons based off of their previous mistakes, an ad-free experience, and of course a more powerful language learning experience for the whole family. They then sprung back to life, and, over 10 times more powerful, and 4.2 times more likely to finish their language course, and destroyed Duo. However, Duo had one more trick up his disgusting, slimy, greasy, little sleeve. Duo had a flashback to his rough childhood in northeastern Siberia. His father Dmitri had set off to fight in WW1. Dmitri never returned. Now completely alone, surrounded by thousands of yards of tundras, taigas, mountains, lions, tigers and bears oh my. Duo, who was only six hours old, immediately began extensive training in the freezing cold to avenge his father, now. Over 100 years later, after remembering this, he gave himself the knowledge of every aspect of language in the Safuvers to overpower Sir Plus, Basho, and friends. Duo then merged with the trip advisor Owl, and cast Sir Plus, Basho, and friends into the language realm. In the heart of the language realm, a mystical world where words took tangible form and sentences shimmered in the air. Sir Plus found himself trapped along with his companions, including Basho the Wise, a sage with the ability to manipulate language itself. The language realm was both enchanting and treacherous, a place where the very fabric of reality was woven with words. They were imprisoned in a maze of words, where the paths constantly shifted, and the only way out was to decipher cryptic linguistic puzzles. As Sir Plus and Basho led their group through the winding passages of metaphor and simile, they encountered personifications of literary devices, such as the cunning irony imps and the metaphorical minotaur. Each encounter brought new challenges, with puns and wordplay becoming both allies and adversaries. Their group consisted of other denizens of the language realm who longed for freedom. There was Limerick Lila a mischievous bard who spoke only in rhymes, and Syntax Sam, a grammarian armed with the power to rearrange sentences at will. Together, they formed an eclectic team, determined to escape the labyrinth of language. As they navigated the labyrinth, they discovered that certain words held the key to unlocking the paths. They had to craft sentences that resonated with the essence of the realm, using literary elements like alliteration and assonance to manipulate the surroundings. Basho, with his deep understanding of the nuances of language, deciphered ancient runes that revealed the hidden meanings behind the barriers they faced. Sir Plus's celestial sword emitted a glow that reacted to the potency of well-crafted sentences, serving as both a guiding light and a weapon against linguistic adversaries. After facing numerous challenges and solving intricate word puzzles, the group finally reached the heart of the language realm. There, they encountered the word weaver, an enigmatic entity that controlled the very fabric of language. 
negotiations ensued, and through a clever combination of rhetoric and reason, Basho convinced the word weaver to lift the enchantment. As the incantation's magic dissipated, the group found themselves standing at the border of the language realm. With a collective sigh of relief, they stepped into the familiar realm of reality, leaving behind the labyrinth of words. Sir Plus, Basho, and their friends emerged from the language realm, their minds enriched by the experience. The words that once confined them now became tools of empowerment. They carried the lessons of syntax and semantics with them, forever changed by their escapade from the labyrinth of language. Basho merged with the residents of the language realm as well. Now that they had escaped the language realm, Sir Plus, Basho, and friends got ready to attack Duo. However, the word Weaver emerged in front of them, revealing itself as Dimitri, Duo's father. Since he was actually just a 140-year-old man, they flayed him alive and absorbed his remains. Then, Dimitri's father, Paul Janulus, emerged. He said that he wanted to help them, so Sir Plus, Basho, and friends included them in their group, forming the Third Legion. The Third Legion then found Duo, and turned him into a fine powder. They melted this powder down, and put it in the veins of a is that Freedy Fassbore animatronic. Duo then possessed this animatronic because of his body being in it, and he was forced to join the Third Legion. After this rather large ordeal, the Third Legion was able to progress to 65.0001% of their journey. They got a singular ice cream, and then moved over 73.04716616666666111383574234567% of their journey. Here was a tablet, so the Third Legion opened it. On the tablet, was a single YouTube video that read not clickbait drinking the sussy among us skibidi toilet dot exe potion at 3 a.m. gone wrong top 10 scariest 3 a.m. happy meals challenge Ryan's world dot exe secret bubble guppies iPhone 20 giveaway prime secret new flavor spotted in Ohio Mr. Beast. This video rotted their brains so much that the third legion had to take a break. Suddenly, a man has fallen into the river in Lego City. Start the new rescue helicopter. Hey! Build the helicopter and off to the rescue. Prepare the lifeline, lower the stretcher, and make the rescue. The new emergency collection from Lego City. The man that had fallen into the river in Lego City joined the Third Legion, and they burned the tablet in a fire powerful enough to destroy a trillion universes. This fire then started to spread and for some reason the Third Legion couldn't put it out, and it was getting hotter. It completely surrounded them, and burnt them all. They all awoke, in a seemingly infinite room with the ceiling and floor painted to look like outer space, but in reality being made of aged cheese. A stone pillar, similar to the one in the arena with the prophecy appeared. This pillar had two sides, and they first read the one on the back to feel like a rebel. This was a message from Lanrit, telling them that the ending destination would likely not be what they expected. They then read the other side, a message from Darpa Moril. This message said that his deodorant would stay eternally trapped, unless they fell into Lanrit's trap. Confused by what this meant, they made a hole in the floor and entered through it. They expected to be right back where they were, but they were somewhere they didn't he recognize. They checked, and they were 85% through their journey. The Third Legion trekked on to 86% of the way, where they met the southern half of Port Louis, the capital of the African island country, Mauritius. The southern half of Port Louis, the capital of the African island country, Mauritius then started to fire authentic Danny DeVito nose hairs at the Third Legion. They dodged and fired regular laser beams how boring back. These laser beams hit the southern half of Port Louis, the capital of the African island country, Mauritius. They hurt the southern half of Port Louis, 
the capital of the African island country, Mauritius, but did not kill it. The Third Legion set the southern half of Port Louis, the capital of the African island country, Mauritius on fire, causing the southern half of Port Louis, the capital of the African island country, Mauritius to explode. The dust from the southern half of Port Louis, the capital of the African island country, Mauritius settled, but before it did Vsauce seemed to peek his head out from behind it, disappearing with the smoke. 90% of the way there, the Third Legion reached their biggest challenge yet, by far. This was also so awesome, so amazing, so cool, that no other story, fictional or non-fictional, could ever begin to compare. The Third Legion found themselves raid. Shadow Legends is an immersive online experience with everything you'd expect from a brand new RPG title. It's got an amazing storyline, awesome 3D graphics, giant boss fights, PvP battles, and hundreds of never-before-seen champions to collect and customize. I never expected to get this level of performance out of a mobile game. Look how crazy the level of detail is on these champions. Raid Shadow Legends is getting big real fast, so you should definitely get in early. Starting now will give you a huge head start. There's also an upcoming special launch tournament with crazy prizes. And not to mention, this game is absolutely free. So go ahead and check out the video description to find out more about Raid, Shadow Legends. There you will find a link to the store page and a special code to unlock all sorts of goodies. Using the special code, you can get 50,000 silver immediately, and a free epic level champion as part of the new player's program, courtesy of course of the raid, Shadow Legends devs. Now that the Third Legion were done with this entire collection of novels worth of truly amazingness, they could continue with their journey and got to 95% of the way there. They were almost there, 1920 ths of the way, so they celebrated by eating Shrek cakes and committing unspeakable war crimes to the people of southwestern Wisconsin. They then found Godzilla, and recruited him into their team. Now that they are celebrating, I feel the need to let out some pent-up anger. Okay, I'm better now. Their celebrations were interrupted when Hubert Blaine Wolf Schlegelstein Hausenbergerdorf SR found the Third Legion, he turned the entire area into the 457th pixel of Remy from Ratatouille, and began to fight. The Third Legion instantaneously obliterated him, confusing them. However, his ashes transformed into the Indonesian woman, Oo then sent Scrooge McDuck's entire collection of 53-year-old watches without the number 11 on them, absolutely destroying, annihilating, and obliterating the Third Legion into oblivion. O thought that she had won, but suddenly the personification of Middle Ageness appeared and revived the Third Legion, also joining them. Together, they ate O, permanently casting Vanuatu into complete darkness. They were about to continue, but Dwayne Johnson materialized out of Jimmy Neutron's hair. Dwayne and the Third Legion began to brawl. The Third Legion was still hitting Dwayne with damaging blows, but Dwayne struck him harder every time. Eventually, everyone in the Third Legion was on the edge of death but Jimmy Neutron's shoes appeared. Out of these, the rock materialized. The rock and Dwayne Johnson got into an amazing duel, obliterating universes, degrading the laws of physics, producing enough power to destroy all powerful civilizations, producing twelve hard-boiled eggs, and obliterating the fabric of space and time. Eventually, in the same manner that Uni Legion and his deodorant had merged, Dwayne Johnson and The Rock merged into one being, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who joined the Third Legion. The Third Legion continued on, to 99% of their journey. Just then, Wheatley from Portal, 
the merged being of every single blade of grass named Rolf Gepato in the nearest 56,789 Xenoverses, the nerd Imaji, Chris Pratt, Batman if his parents had died from falling down the stairs instead of being murdered, and Hulk's left bicep appeared. These few called themselves the Anti-Legion, a group dedicated to destroying the Third Legion for no particular reason. It had one more member, the leader. This leader was the last surviving remnant of his deodorant. When his deodorant was free, he would split up his consciousness into several beings to do different things, but he merged with most of these by the time he fought Uni Legion. This one was the last one remaining. His deodorant did not merge with him because Minecraft Steve decided to marry it. Minecraft Steve then appeared, and she don't question it joined the Third Legion.